guys, Alia here. So today we're gonna learn how to go from flat to fab in your belly dance bra. Um, it's a little bit daunting to figure out how to take your bra and uh, push your boobs up. <laughs> but um, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you, it's super, super simple. You're just gonna take your bra and I'm gonna open this bra up, but I'm gonna stuff another one because I'm gonna show you how to just open this bra. There's a little stitch here, and you're just gonna, with your seam ripper, you're gonna pluck the stitch. Usually I pluck it from the center, okay? You're gonna pluck the stitch, and then you'll just take one more out, and one more out, and pull it open. Okay, so now we've opened it. I'm gonna open it a little bit more. And as you can see, it's also sewn right here. Some, you can take this out if you want. I usually do. It's a little bit difficult, but if you can take the seam ripper and just pluck it. And it takes a minute. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna cut the head off. So there's a little head of, of thread there. And I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm gonna try and pull this up. That's not working. So I'm gonna take the seam ripper and I'm gonna try and pluck the fabric. This is gonna take a minute, okay? Because you don't wanna pluck the fabric and rip the fabric. Okay, it's not happening. So I'm gonna go from the other side. I can see right here where they plucked it. So I'm just gonna take the seam ripper, put it under the thread. Now we have it open like this. I'm still not able to open this part. Okay, so I'm gonna take my seam ripper and go from under and try and grab the thread that way, okay? There it is. So, I got it. I didn't tear the fabric. It's got a little tiny hole in it, but from the outside, it's fine. I'm just gonna cut the thread off here on the outside. Don't cut the fabric of the bra. Okay. And now, what we use is, you can use many things. Um, you can use pillow stuffing. But I find what's most secure and um, solid is shoulder pads. So we're gonna open up the shoulder pads. And this is the thick part of the shoulder pad. I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna cut a round circle like this. The same shape of the bra, okay? And I just kinda eye it it doesn't have to be perfect. The main part of the shoulder pad is this thick part that's gonna go on the bottom part of the bra. You can use as many of these as you want. I sometimes use three. Um, most people use one. Sometimes they use two, but I uh, like to be full in my bra, so I can, I'll use three most of the time. And we're gonna stick this into the cup, so it fits like that. Now, I'm gonna take the bottom part of the bra, there's all these little hanging threads. You can tie them up so they don't keep opening. And I'm gonna cut off the excess thread so it's not hanging down. And I'm just gonna sew it back up. So, I have my needle and my thread. Remember I said, don't use a thread too long. You don't want it any longer than this, okay? And I usually just prick it here from the inside so the little head on the edge of the thread is not showing. So I'll prick it from the inside. 
I'm going only through the fabric. I'm not um, grabbing the strong part of the bra, okay? And I still have the little head sticking out. So I just poke that in there, in the inside of the fabric. Okay, and I'm gonna start sewing. Now, the way I'm gonna sew this is I'm gonna take a loop and go sideways, okay? So pick the bottom part of the fabric and the part of the fabric of the bra, just a very, very tiny bit, okay? And then I'm gonna bring it up. And remember, I'm not going over, I'm going sideways. So it's going to go on a, an angle. So I'm picking the bottom part again, picking part of the fabric from the bra. I want the needle to come underneath the thread. Don't have it come over the thread. I want it to come under the thread. And again, and try and make these stitches the same even length, okay? So there's small little pricks and the same even length. And you just keep going and keep going until you finish, until you close it all up. And I'm just gonna take it all the way to the end. I'm gonna tie it again as I tied it before. And I'm gonna bring it through the fabric and I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so now we got the padding in, and we're gonna, so it's loose, and we don't want all this loose fabric here. So usually we take a pin prick, and we go through this hard part of the bra. And the way I do that is you can use a thimble, or I showed you, that this is like a leather piece for my finger. You can use this on many fingers. You can use it on your middle finger, you can use it on the fourth finger, okay? Usually I'm working with my index finger or my middle finger. And I have my thread and my needle. And what I wanna do is I wanna pin prick through the bra, okay? So it, I want it to be kind of in the center. So I'm gonna pin prick right here into the center. And I'm just gonna push with this finger that's protected, push it through the other side. And keep pushing and pushing until the pin comes all the way out. And then pull the pin through. And there you have your little mark. Now I'm gonna take this pin and put it exactly through the same hole. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult with your, um, your thing on your finger. This, you can also use a thimble, okay? So I'm gonna set the pin in exactly the same hole, okay? And now I want it to come around the same part and the hole in the back. And there it's coming out exactly, almost exactly at the same place, which is awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna take this off again to pull the pin through because I can't work with that on my finger. Make sure that there's no um, little rings or thread sticking out or anything. And now I wanna go back again through the same hole. Okay, so I put, I'm gonna push it through and try and go through the same hole on the other side, if you can see it. If you can't, just do it uh, um, in another part because it's so small that it's really not even noticeable. Now I'm gonna take my thimble again, my leather thimble, and I'm gonna push it through the bra again. And I do this slowly because sometimes the pin will break and then it'll be really difficult to get out. If that happens, I usually just cut the thread off and pull the pin out and try again. And almost in the same exact place. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie it off. So how do I do that? I prick the fabric anywhere, it doesn't matter really where. And I prick the fabric and I take it under. 
It's a little bit hard because you're working in this round surface, so it's a little bit difficult, but you can do it. And as I did before, tying it off, I'm gonna go through twice through the loop. One, two. Pull it tight. Prick the fabric again, just so you can cut it and the end stays inside the fabric. And I'm gonna cut it off. And voila, you have your padding. Now, as I said, you can use one, two, three pads. Um, this will serve to keep it in place. So, and you want the thickness to be all on the bottom. Sometimes if you put a lot of padding in, it comes up on the top also. So you would really want to put this um, pin prick here to hold it because otherwise it'll be full here and when you're wearing it, it'll be full from outside the bra. But that's it.